Hello, my name is Aaron White. My name is Joe Wanecki. And we're actually broadcasting from the Hackathon down in Columbus, Ohio today. So we've got our nice green sheet up on a wall here just for you guys so we can film this video. So if you want to click the link up over here or the one down in the description below, it'll open up the code that Joe is going to tab over to now. So this code is actually the same code from our Plantoids activity, which you should have already done at this point. So this one is actually going to be the coding for our Lunar Descent, which is actually a game based off the classic Lunar Lander game. So what we're going to try and do is land a spaceship on the surface of the moon. But first, we've got to add in the gravity. So what do we need to do? So to add in the gravity, we're going to go back here. We're going to define a value for g. So we're going to add this first line of code. And for us, our value is 1.63 because we're landing on the moon. We're not landing on Earth, which has a value of g equals 9.8. So we need the value to be 1 sixth the value on Earth because we're landing on the moon. So we're going to add in this code, we're going to copy and paste it over just somewhere in our code towards the beginning. So a quick way you can do that is control V to paste it in. And let's actually go ahead and drop down this little arrow over here too so we can see all of our code at once just nice and neat mm -hmm. there. Let's and then I'll that. get out of the way so you guys can actually see what this does. So let's go ahead and show them. So if he goes ahead and clicks on the screen and tries to do stuff, you'll notice that the gravity isn't actually doing anything. It still looks the same as the Planetoids model. So what do we need to do to fix it? So seeing as we just define we just define g equal to 1.63, we didn't actually implement it in any way. We actually have to put it in now. So to do this, we have our second line of code, which is delta v y. So what that basically deals with is the idea that we're changing our velocity because g is an acceleration we're uh, causing a change in velocity so to put that in we need a value for delta v so we're going to copy that and then we're going to put that over right before our display down here oh i'm still blocking the way so i'll get out of the way for you guys so we're going to copy and paste that over and make sure it's before the display here. So then we see the value of g is actually added in. So we can see gravity is actually giving us some sort of effect. All right, but this is lacking in a little bit of the excitement department. Uh, so how, if this is a game, we can either win or we can lose. So it's not really a loss if we don't have a nice game over in the middle of the screen to make us feel bad about our life and <laughs> choices and whatnot. So let's go ahead and add in a nice game over text. Joe's going to just once again copy that over to the clipboard and add it in. And he's actually going to put this after the display this time. And all this code is saying is that if y is less than zero, as in our spaceship has reached the bottom of the screen and is crashing into the moon, then that's game over because you crashed and burned and died and you, you lose. So if he goes in his play now, and we let our spaceship just fall down to the bottom of the screen, we're going to see a nice little game over, well, actually a rude little game over <laughs> pop up in the middle of the screen. So now that we have a way to lose, let's talk about a way to win. So of course, since we're playing a game, we want a way to win, right? So we're trying to land on the moon. So a way to win would be to actually land our spaceship on the moon and not crash and burn like Aaron said. So to do that we're going to add a couple more lines of code in so we'll put copy over this draw line code right after our display. And this will give us a nice surface to land on because it's a little hard to just land a spaceship in the middle of space. And then we'll go down here and add another line of code, this if statement, so that way we can actually land on the moon. So we'll have our angle change to 90 degrees, which is also equal to pi over 2 radians. So in our case, in the code here, we have it's 3.141 over 2. So we're going to copy this code and then put it right before the game over display that we had before. All right, and so this is just saying that if he kind of hovers his spaceship close to zero, but not quite there necessarily, uh, it's going to allow him to win and land safely. So now if he wants to go ahead and try it. All right. 
having a little bit of issues there. Try it one more time here. All still. right, and he still is failing. It's still pretty hard, Good job. but then. Yeah, no, that's why they call it the average Joe. So. <laughs> she can't seem to get it. So, to make it a little bit easier, you'll notice when he started every time, he his spaceship was already sideways. So not only did he have to try and hit the up arrow to try and slow down, he had to turn his spaceship. So, Joe, what can we do to fix that? So, to change, so, Next, we're going to have to then change the actual initial angle. So in our code, we had theta equals zero. So then we have to change this to our 90 degrees, or our pi over 2 radians. So we don't have a copy for this, copy and paste for this. So we're just going to go back up through our line of code. And where we have theta equals zero, we're going to type in 3.141 over two. All right, and now when he goes ahead and hits play, now it's a little bit easier for him. And he's still lost, but you know, maybe you'll do better. All right, so now that we have a way to win, let's see if you can do it this time. Maybe not. <laughs> While he's still trying to redeem himself there, let's talk about how we can get better at this game. I maybe you do it in less time. So we're gonna go ahead after he wins here uh, and add in a timer. Joe, do you need me to show you how it's done? Apparently, I can't <laughs> play this game. There you go. There he th he finally landed. Good job for Joe. All right. So now we're gonna go ahead and add in this timer. So he's just gonna hit that copy code to clipboard button, and we're gonna have to also set our initial time to zero. So up in the beginning of the code, he's going to put in that variable t for time and put in a t equals zero. So this way, you know, we have something to change. And the code that he copied to his clipboard, don't forget your semicolon there. All right, so now he's going to go ahead and use the code that he copied to his clipboard. And he's going to add that down below the display button there. And he's going to put that in. And that way we'll have some, a timer showing up on the screen and will show us how much time it takes. So not only can this help you improve your skills at the game and get a little bit faster at landing your spaceship, but it can also show us if the, gra if the gravity is physically correct in our game. So if we just go ahead and hit play and let this free fall, uh, Joe's not going to touch it after he hits play, we can see how much time has passed when it hits the ground. And now we can actually use math. We got to see if Joe moves out of the way. We got 17.6 seconds in there. So let's see if using some math that is correct. So give us just one jump cut to get out the whiteboard. Push that tape.